In Tuesday evening's Jackson Board of Education meeting, several business matters were discussed, but the focus of the meeting seemed to be what the Liberty Institute would disclose about the investigation they conducted regarding the portrait of Jesus Christ hanging in the Jackson Middle School. The threshold question in dealing with an issue like this, a, a, a religious display in a school, is it, is it government speech or is it <coughs> private speech? If it's government speech, then the Establishment Clause applies. Uh, but if it's private speech, the Establishment Clause does not apply, and the Free Speech Clause applies. Um, after our investigation, uh, our conclusion is that the portrait is not government speech, but is in fact private speech. Uh, our, our, our basis, is in part, is on the portrait itself. There's an inscription that says High Y Club. There is no record of the High Y Club ever giving the portrait to the school. The school has no record of receiving it, of accepting it. Um, the High White Club has a long history, even after the portrait is hung, of associating itself with that portrait and with that image, that particular image. Um, and moreover, um, the High White Club has now asserted ownership over the portrait. Um, moreover, um, because the portrait is hung there for so long as the High Wine Club's property, um, our conclusion is that not only does the Establishment Clause not apply, but the Free Speech Clause uh, applies, and there has been created by the school district a limited public forum, and it would be unconstitutional for the school district to take that portrait down on the basis of it being religious speech. In other words, because it's a limited public forum, because it's private speech, the school district cannot discriminate it against it because it's religious speech. Um, in brief, and you've all received a, a full report, um, our recommendation is that the um, school board affirmatively disclaim that that's government speech and clarify for everyone to know that the school district is not endorsing religion or any religious viewpoint and formalize a policy for a limited public forum both in the middle school where it already exists by practice as well as in the high school where other student clubs if they so desire can hang similar uh, portraits of inspirational figures thank you After Charles' report, the board members approved the adoption of a limited public forum policy that would allow other student groups to hang portraits of other inspirational figures in the same limited public forum. At this point, the portrait is able to stay where it has for many, many years. Only time will tell whether the FFRF and the ACLU will drop the lawsuit or continue to pursue it. Either way, the Liberty Institute will be there to represent the Jackson City School District.